वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रशांत पाटिल जैन कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बेलगामी प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल गिव द कमेंट्स एंड आल्सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट द लाइक बटन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर डिस्कसिंग ऑन इनवर्स लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म एफ ऑफ टी इज नथिंग बट कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एस देयरफॉर इनवर्स लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ कैपिटल एफ ऑफ एस इज स्मॉल एफ ऑफ टी वेलकम फ्रेंड्स in this video other examples on inverse laplace transform by using partial fractions i'm doing these also can be done using the convolution theorem but i'm using here partial fraction to find the inverse laplace transform here okay find the inverse laplace transform of s plus 2 divided by s square into bracket s plus 3 addition of terms are not there the denominator is are in the standard forms but product of two terms so i have to split them okay now let me consider uh, let me find the partial fractions of this consider s plus 2 divided by s square into s plus 3 okay to find to convert it into partial fractions s square quadratic form is there therefore i can write it as a divided by s Plus b divided by s square for this s square. Next linear term is there. That's for c divided by s plus three. I can write. Then I have to find the values of a, b, c. I can take the LCM here or multiplying throughout by multiplying both side by multiplying by s square into s plus three on both sides. I'm going to get. Yes, plus two is equal to a into this terms. One of the s will cancel, therefore a into s into s plus three will remain. Yes, b into s square s square cancels. B into s plus three will remain. Plus c into s plus three cancels. S square will remain. C into s square. Using this, I have to find the values of a, b, c. To find out a, b, c. Uh, let me put first s equal to zero so that I will get the values of value of b here now. Okay, put s equal to zero. Then I am going to get here zero plus two equal to a into zero plus b into zero plus three plus c into zero, which implies b is equal to three b equal to two. Therefore, it is b equal to two by three. Very simple term here. Next. To get any one of a and c, uh, let me put s equal to minus three so that a and b will become zero. C I can find out easily. Okay, let me put s equal to minus three. Then if I am substituting s equal to minus three, minus three plus two left hand side, right hand side, a into again s equal to minus three it will become zero plus b into again this will become zero. Plus c into minus three square. As minus three square is plus nine, and here minus three plus two is become minus one. Therefore, c equal to minus one divided by nine plus nine. Therefore, c equal to minus one by nine. Now I have to find the value of a. To find the value of capital A. Here I cannot substitute s equal to zero or equal to minus three. Then both for both the terms will become zero. And already I calculated b and c. Using them, let me put s equal to other than zero and minus three. Then I am going to get this one. Otherwise, or one more thing you can do is comparing the coefficients. That also you can use. But here I am using. Uh, let me put s equal to one, other than the value of zero and minus three, so that it should not become zero like that. Which implies s equal to one plus three equal to a as it is s equal to one one into one plus three plus b b values already two by three we calculated into one plus three plus c value minus one by nine into s equal to one times fifteen one square simplify this which will become four equal to three plus one. Four four a plus four a plus this is a four four into eight eight by three 
8 by 3 minus 1 by 9. Simplify this one for A here. Okay. While simplifying this one, I will write it as, a, um, okay, 4 is equal to 4A, LCM I will take it as a 9. Okay. If I am taking LCM 9, then it will become 3, 3, 3 is a 9. I have to multiply 8, 3 is a 24. 24 minus 1. Okay. 24 minus 1. Therefore, 4A is equal to 4 minus 23 divided by 9. Again, LCM is 9. A small correction is here. That is 1 plus 2 I have to do. My formula is 1 plus 2, not 1 plus 3. 1 plus 2 will become 3 here. Correct. Then again here equal to 3. And here also 3. Okay. Then 9, 3 is a 27. 27 minus 23 will become 4. Therefore, A is equal to A is equal to 1 by 9. I am going to get this 4, this 4 cancels equal to 1 by 9. Using them, now I can write them as now S plus 2 divided by S square into S plus 3 equal to, I can write it as A divided by S. A is 1 by 9. 1 by 9 divided by S. B. B is a 2 by 3. 2 by 3 divided by S square plus or, okay, C equal to minus 1 by 9 divided by S plus 3. It's inverse Laplace transform. I have to calculate in a simple way. Therefore, inverse Laplace transform of S plus 2 divided by s square into s plus 3 will become 1 by 9 into inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s 2 by 3 into inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s square because addition of terms is there separately linear property I can apply minus 1 by 9 into inverse Laplace transform of 1 by s plus 3 Therefore, I will write one more final answer here as 1 by 9 inverse Laplace transform of 1 by S. You can use the formula for inverse Laplace transform. Inverse Laplace transform of 1 by S to the power N is equal to T to the power T to the power N minus 1 divided by N minus 1 factorial. Okay. Therefore, here it is S to the power 1 T to the power 0 divided by 0 factorial plus 2 by 3 into 1 by s square t to the power 2 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 factorial minus 1 by 9 into 1 by s plus 3 that is e to the power minus 3t or in the simplified form final answer I can write it as t to the power 0 is 1 0 factorial is 1 therefore it is 1 by 9 plus 2 by 3 into t to the power 1 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 factorial is 1. Therefore, it is 2t divided by 3 minus e to the power minus 3t divided by 9 is my required answer. Okay, like this, another example in the same video I am going to do here. That is also very important, but it is in the quadratic form. Okay, let me Another do. example is find the inverse Laplace transform of 3s minus 1 divided by s minus 3 into s square plus 4. Here again, we can use the convolution theorem to find out this one, but I am using a partial fraction. They are not mentioned here. That's why I am using the partial fractions. Here, denominator is again product of two standard forms. Okay, but this product is there. Therefore, I will split it in using the partial fractions. Consider 3s minus 1 divided by s minus 3 into s square plus 4. I can write it as a divided by s minus 3 plus uh, as the second term is quadratic form I can write it as a bs plus c divided by s square plus 4 okay now if I have to find out a b and c to find out that let me multiply by or lcm you can take and simplify multiply by s minus 3 into s square plus 4 on both sides I am going to get a 3s minus 1 equal to a into s minus 3, s minus 3 cancels, s square plus 4 will remain, plus 
bs plus c into s plus s square plus 4 s square cancels will remain with the s minus 3 now i have to using this for this equation i have to find the values of a b c let me put s equal to 3 so that it will become 0 and i can find the value of a put s equal to 3 which implies 3 into 3 minus 1 equal to a into 3 square plus 4 plus b b into s equal to 3 okay plus c into bracket 3 this becomes 0 therefore it will become 9 9 minus 1 it is 8 equal to 13 a which implies a equal to 8 divided by 13 okay like that if I am putting s equal to 0 then b will become 0 c I can find out okay and using the a value put s equal to 0 I am getting 3 into 0 minus 1 equal to a into 0 a value is I can use 8 divided by 13 0 plus 4 plus b b value I have to calculate but s equal to 0 here plus c into s minus 3 s value is again 0 minus 3 therefore I am getting 0 minus 1 equal to 8 for 32 32 divided by 13 plus or minus minus 3c now I have to find the value of c which implies minus 3c is equal to minus 1 minus 32 divided by 13 LCM is 13 therefore C equal to LCM is 13 here and 13 into 1 minus 1 minus 13 minus 45 into 1 by minus 3 therefore 3 ones are 3 15 is which implies C equal to 15 divided by 13 okay now I have to find the value of B to find the value of b i can use a comparison the coefficients or you can use the value of s equal to other than these other than s equal to 3 and s equal to 0 and uh, you can use the value of a b so that i can find the value of b here put s equal to 1 for my convenience okay put s equal to 1 which implies if i put s equal to 1 3 into 1 minus 1 equal to a into a is 8 by 13 into s square s equal to 1 i am solving 1 square plus 4 plus b b i am going to calculate b into s into 1 plus c c value 15 divided by 13 already calculated into 1 minus 3 simplify this 3 minus 1 is 2 equal to Next, a 4 plus 1, 5, 5 into 8, 40 divided by 13, this one. Next, plus or minus, let me check. 3 minus 1, 2, minus 2, minus 2b, minus 2b. Next, minus 2 into this, minus 30 divided by 13, correct? Minus 30, 2 into 15, this sign 30. Therefore, minus 2b is equal to 2 minus lcm is 13 40 minus 10 30 is 10 10 divided by 13 okay 10 divided by 13 then i am going to get b value as b is equal to lcm is 13 13 into 2 26 26 minus 10 16 and into 1 by minus 2 Therefore, B is equal to minus 8 divided by 13. B value I am getting a minus 8 divided by 13. Now, I can use the values of A, B and C so that I can write the partial fractions as now 3S minus 1 divided by S minus 3 into S square plus 4. I can write it as a divided by s minus 3 a value is 8 by 13 divided by s minus 3 plus 
bs plus c b value is a minus 8 divided by 13 into s plus c c value is 15 divided by 15 divided by 13 whole divided by whole divided by i can write it as s square plus 4 now it's part they are in the standard forms therefore now i can find out the inverse laplace transform easily now inverse laplace transform of 3s minus 1 divided by s minus 3 into s square plus 4 i can write right hand side as 8 by 13 okay 8 by 13 into inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s minus 3 and this one i can split it as a as a two terms this divided by this and this divided by this. that is minus 8 by 13 into inverse laplace transform of s divided by s square plus 4 i can write plus 15 divided by 13 into inverse laplace transform of 1 divided by s square plus 4 i can write now they are in the standard forms easily you can find their inverse laplace transforms which is equal to 8 by 13 into Lap, inverse Laplace transform of 1 divided by s minus 3 is e to the power 3t. If it is minus is here, then it will become plus minus 8 by 13 into inverse Laplace transform of s divided by s square plus 4. That is, s is coming means cot, sorry, cos. And then divided due to this plus, it will become simple, not hyperbolic. Cos 2t plus 15 divided by 13 into inverse Laplace transform of 1 is there means sign and due to that 1 by 2 will come 1 by 2 2 square therefore into sine what I can write it is a sine 2t okay from all the three terms so 1 by 13 I can take common and then I can write it as 1 by 13 into uh, 8 into e to the power 3t minus cos 2t from first two terms 8 also I can take common from second term 1 by 13 already taken common uh, and I can write it as a plus 15 by 2 okay 15 by 2 times a sine 2t okay this is my required inverse Laplace transform all this also can be done by convolution theorem in my next videos i'm going to do please subscribe my channel give the comments and also don't forget to hit the like button thank you friends